Hello Zenbees, it's time for a string safari. A string safari is a project where we create a Zentangle using a given string. And this is our string safari number 60. You can check out all the previous projects from the series in the playlist String Safari. I'm Sandhya Manne, I'm an artist and a certified Zentangle teacher. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing Zentangle, my own Zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on any videos that I post here every Tuesdays and Fridays. For today's project, we shall work on a regular white square tile with my black pen, pencil and stub. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. On to tangling now. Okay, so here is our supplies for today's session. This is string safari number 60. So I'm working on a regular white square tile with my black 01 micron and a pl black micron you could use a 08 or any thicker tip pen will do and this is my pencil my stub so basically these are the supplies that we will be using um, so let's start with today's string it's a beautiful string it's a it's a star so we start with um, some dots to kind of guide us so I'm going to start with this and then pull out another Maybe another dot here and here, so like a triangular shape. And then I'm going to kind of repeat the same thing. Um, I'm going to pull out one right in the opposite like this somewhere here. Okay, so now between this and this, I'm going to pull out one that's slightly out. Like it's not on the same line, it's slightly away. Same thing, I'm going to pull one that is slightly away. And okay, let me put it a bit away this far. Okay, so now between these two, I'm going to have one here. Between these two, I'm going to have one here. Between these two, we're going to have one here. Between these two, we're going to have one here. So let's join these. So this, this. Okay, so, so a star like this. Um, so now the first thing that we're going to do is use our 01 black micron and we are going to ink this whole thing. So a starish kind of shape will do. Okay, and I'm going to aura this. So I'm going to give a fine aura inside. Okay, so now I'm going to give an aura line, uh, or rather a border line. So we're going to make a line slightly away from the star. So I'm going to start somewhere here and go about like that. Okay, and I'm going to extend this from here. Okay, so that is the borderline. Now I'm also going to give a 
or align to this so basically we are going to give another line very close to this border line Let's get started with the center. So here, um, what is we're going to do skina. So I'm going to start off somewhere like this. I make a dot and I kind of pull out my line that goes like this. Now I'm going to aura this line. And every time it kind of comes to the end, we're going to branch out just a little bit. So like this and then we just branch out like that. Um, so it's, it looks more interesting if you can kind of change the direction of your lines. So I'm going to do that. It's also a good way to kind of get back in sync. So I'm now pulling out lines only till that line and that's okay. So let's go around doing this. Okay, so I'm going to start from the other side. Okay, so that is done. I like the way it's kind of swirling in. Um, so the next thing that we're going to do is add some weight right at the end. So we can, um, can either do like a smaller one, something like this, or you can go ahead and make some really big fillings like that. So it's totally up to us. So take your time to do this. It's, it's really fun. Going around adding the blacks. So now we're going to add some fun details inside. Um, so let's see. You can start off with some circles like this. So wherever you have more space between the lines, we can we can do something like this. So I'm also going to pull out. So you can either make circles or you can make 
ones like this. So I'm just going to randomly go around and look for some sections like that and add some details. So here we are uh, all done with the center part now let's get to our border so for the border I am going to use my pencil and we're going to section this further so I'm going to pull out lines right at these uh, angles so we're first going to pull out lines right at the angles where it's the direction changes um, the line direction changes That. okay so now I'm going to further divide this so between these two I'm going to pull out another line so we are making our reticular to add in some fun fragments okay So let's get started. So we're going to uh, from this this top the main corners. So right we have the center line, and I'm going to start from here, and I'm going to pull out a line that kind of goes like this, touches this pen line, and then touches this pencil line, and comes back like this. So we're kind of creating hollows like this. So again, I go about doing that like this. Now, the one that's right next to this, we're going to pull this out like this. Same thing here. So we're going to have mocha heads touching right at the angles. And so here again. And in the center part is where they are going to start like that. Okay, so
Okay, so we got our hall is done all around. So now here, I'm going to add a nice circle like that and also here. So let's go around adding circles. Okay, so now that we have added the circles, yeah, I'm going to go around adding some flux and more circles. So all over I'm going to add some flux and maybe some more circles. Right, so let's go ahead. Okay, so now I'm going to add another circle here. And so we're going to do... Our flux is slightly different. Okay, so let's go around adding the blacks and finishing it up nice and good. So, like that. Okay, so again, same thing here. So, this we are doing right where both the mocha heads meet and we have the space. So, let's go ahead and We're basically filling these space up with finer details. Okay, so here we're going to do a fun version of moon pie. So I'm going to start off with a half circle like this. And I'm going to make the aura line slightly wavy. And maybe even pull out a... We create a bump to, to make it look like diva dance. So we're basically making diva dance here, which is half hidden. that so I'm just randomly making my bumps 
um, and I will come back to that and add some maybe fillings or maybe we can add some circles we'll see how to go about that so I need about one two three four five 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 or a line so I'm just going to finish this up with one more like that and then um, over here I'm going to make use Okay, so um, we're going to fill our center with solid black. So I'm going to go over and add solid black in there. So I'm going back and adding black um, inside of these bumps. I'm just making another aura line inside this. So I am going to go around and do this in one, two, three, four, the other four sections and then we'll see how we can finish this up. So let's go ahead and start adding this.
so here's my tile all done I've added lats and, and it looks fun so now let's get to shading um, so I am gonna start off with um, adding my pencil right here right along that edge So add your pencil right along this inner or a line and we're going to blend this very gently. Okay, so there and I'm also going to go along this loop here and this piece here. So wherever I see a bunch of lines kind of coming out is where I'm going to add some more pencil to kind of give that um, depth, make it a bit more intense, so like that. Okay, so that's done now let's get to the border so I am just going to add my pencil along this line here the bottom of the border Okay, so here it's all done. Now we're finally going to add our pencil right along this line here. So basically outside the star. Uh, but I'm not going into the black because it's not required. Okay, so now let's blend this. So blending this out like this.
there it is all done now if you wish you can also go around the flower but i'm gonna leave it at this so um let's put our initials and call it done let's see which side do i, I think i'll I think I'm gonna go ahead with this side so there is my initial let's quickly journal this so today's date is 13th July 2021 and this is YouTube and this is string safari number 60 and we worked with Skina Hollis and the Flux and then Diva Dance so those were the titles that we used for today's session and this is an important date for me. It's our 20th anniversary. So that is all done. Hope you had fun on this safari with me. I would love to see your creations. So head on to our Facebook group Zenbees where all the after party fun happens. Share your creations there and check out the works by other Zenbees. If you're sharing your works on social media, then please do tag me at Sandhya Manne or hashtag Tangled with Sandhya so I get to see your lovely works there. And I do stop by to comment. A quick note, these projects and these videos are for your personal use and no part of this can be used for any kind of commercial purposes. To understand the Zentangle method and to get started on your own Zentangle journey, send me an email or check out my website sandhyamannestudio.com. Um, I have online courses listed in there. On Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. India time, I have uh, I host a Zentangle mini project on my Instagram handle at Sanya Mane Studio. Join me there and let's tangle together in real time. To receive my weekly newsletter, click on the link Tangle Organizer in the description to claim your free gift and to get up information about all the cool things that I'm doing across social media. It's time to comment now, so please comment and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that really helps me plan out my next set of sessions. Also, it's time to show some love, so hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I shall see you next on Friday in our Focus Flight series. Until then, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.